Welcome to The Draw. My name is Ben Clements along with Brian McNamee. We are at the Lazy E Arena, Guthrie, Oklahoma for the World Cup Finals of Team Roping. And we are four days deep in this and we had a great day of Team Roping. Today was a great day of Team Roping. We started a little late, but uh, we had the 12 shootout, the 12 extreme gold, and the 10 and a half over 40. Yeah. And you say we got a late, late start. You know, this morning, um, we, we kind of got up and around. It was cold, no moisture falling. And then about mm, six o'clock, bam, here comes the rain, ice, everything. So uh, the uh, officials elected to start about noon, which worked out perfectly. And the start was with the 12 shootout. Absolutely. Uh, that was a that was a great open right there. I didn't know about the moisture. Um, yeah, I live on team number 10, so I was running a little late. <laughs> Sorry, I, had, I got out and drove around. I'm like, yeah, this is good. This is good. And then as I get back to the trailer, I'm like, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> we need to wait. So we did. And uh, anyway, but 12.5 shootout underway. Let's catch the highlights as we start with the 11th high team back. Steve Rogers and Joe Kane. This team out of Missouri and Iowa. They came to the short round with a 29.02. And uh, Steve Rogers got out on this steer really good, hooked it on him, and Joe comes in, scoops him up. They make a clean run. They're 737, 3639 is their total, and they go to the lead of the rope, and they would hold the lead for a bit. Yes, sir. And then that, that takes us to the ninth high call of Carson Coffell and Rio Escobar. Uh, 26 and 52 coming into the short round. They just went out and made a clean run. Just solid what they've been doing all day. Ended up 8 and 88 in the short round. Yeah, and, and so then they were 35-40, took over that lead right there. That drives us down to the seventh high team back, and that was Jaden Trimble and Sean Trimble. Uh, Jaden and Sean come to us out of Kansas. They came into the short round with a 26-01. Now, these guys roped really well to get there. So surprising as Jaden calls for the steer. He takes an early start, bam, gets the barrier. And then Sean just comes in and heals this dude down. Yeah. Um, they 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 got the got the run done. Eleven and sixty five with a penalty puts them thirty seven and sixty six. Slides them in there at third for the moment. But lots of team roping left. The top six to go. A lot of team roping left. The sixth I called Jay Osborne, Tyler McCumbry. They're twenty five and forty five coming into the short round. Once again, just going and making a businessman's run. Nine and eighty nine in the short round, making them thirty five and thirty four. They went to the lead of the rope. Yeah. And then here comes Jill Murray. Jill Murray and Nick Coates. And this team was 25-28. I've, I've enjoyed watching Nick Coates rope this entire roping. He just kind of crashes in there, comes in, rocks back, and sets a gate under there, and then just bam, shuts the door. And Jill's chased this steer down the arena a little bit. And then just like I said, Nick Coates comes in there and just boom, it's over. He does all that really fast. He does. 882, and they are 3410. They take over the lead, and they would hold the lead until we get to the third high back. Third high call, Tyler Tryon, Parker Carvajal. You've got any kind of lead, and the Tryon backs in the box. You're watching to see what happens. Tyler Tryon, Parker Carvajal, 24 and 93 coming into the short round. They're 8 and 63 in the short round. Just another clean run, making them 33 and 56, and they go to the lead of the rope. You know, I, I like watching that team rope. Tyler Tryon, you know, of course, he's got some, some good coaches up ahead of him. Um, Parker Carvajal on the backside. Kid out of Florida. He comes to Texas, starts hanging out there. This guy heals good. He, Not only does he heal good, he heads good. He heads exceptionally well. He's just handy with the rope. He is. Another he, one of those kids that coming up, they're just heading, healing, whatever they need to get done. And he's the second I call with Nikki Northcott. And uh, yeah. they're 2405. And they, yeah, they had some trouble right there. Parker broke the barrier, which was super surprising. And, you know, that second high team back, Parker Carvajal, Nikki Northcott, they go a little bit longer than they wanted. Nikki gets a leg. They're 1699. 4104 kind of takes them out of it. 
And we covered the high team back. High team back. A couple of kids, local kids, yeah. right around here, Edmund, Guthrie. Yeah. And uh, it's Bailey Gregg and Trey Gatbauer. They're 23 and 14 coming into the short round. They've they've distanced themselves a little bit, but they've still got to be clean and make a good run. Yeah, they do. And, and uh, you know, it was, it was unique because – Bailey kind of started out the day, and she's like, Treg's late. I don't know where he's at, and this, that, and the other. And then, you know, we, we're down there, and she's like hollering at him to come over and get in the box and, and all this. They're, they're best friends. And, uh, you know, they're 23, 14. Here they are. And they come out there. Bailey gets the steer rope and then moves him out. Treg, 850 right here, puts on 3164, and they, they win the rope. And, it was just just a good deal for that. And the unique thing, I catch them at the back end of the arena, um, and Treg comes up, he gives the Ant Bauer interview. <laughs> He's been coached a little. Bit. <laughs> it was a good interview. So then I then I go out there and I catch up with Bailey, and man, she gave the best interview ever. Um, such a sweetheart. She's a senior in high school, getting ready to go to college, and she's like so heartfelt about the win. And, and what it meant to her to, you know, to get a big win and, and take home, her, you know, 12,000 bucks for the team. It was just, it was really neat to uh, to listen to him. Let's go to that interview. What happened right there? You guys were high team back. What happened on the steer? Um, you know, I knew the paint steers have been good all day and I was like, okay, hey, here we go. So once I let him out, I just made sure I got all the way up there and roped him and turned him and I knew Trek was going to come back and just clean him up, so. Yeah, and so, uh, so what? You're sitting back there, you're hiking back. What's going through your mind? Well, I was pretty nervous. I was sitting there thinking about everything I was doing and Trent came up to me and said, hey, the most important thing is we're gonna have fun. And I just, everything just calmed down and I was like, you know what, I've been doing this all day. I do the exact same thing I've been doing. And <laughs> You bet, you bet. So what's it mean for this win right here? Oh, this is, I don't even know. I about started crying whenever we rode out of the arena. <laughs> this is, uh, uh, this is my last year in high school and a big win before I get to go to college is just whew, I don't I don't even know what to say. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, set it up for you right here. So okay. you get out of the barrier, great. Stick it on the steer. Mm -hmm. When your loop goes on, tell tell me what happens inside of you. I was like, oh my god, I did it! <laughs> and I turned him and I was like, easy. Now you gotta give a handle now. All the, the run's not over. Yeah, gotta keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Awesome. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Wow, you know, as you can see, uh, what I really like is how we, you know, your ass grabs and say, you know, you got this to your road. And, and then what, you know, what went through your body? And she's like, I was like, oh my God, I did it. That's what she says, you know, and <laughs> oh my God, I did it. But I, but I've got to still handle the steer. And you could almost see her go through each step. She made sure she ran up through the loop, pulled her slack, and got him caught, and then she was like, okay, now it's time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was awesome, it was awesome. So congratulations, Bailey, Greg, and Trey at Trek Bauer. $12,000, they get brand new saddles. Second, of course, Tyler Trine and Parker Carbajal, they get 9,000 in beautiful buckles. Um, third place goes to Joe Murray and Nick Coates. They take home 6,000 in the CSI saddle pads. Fourth place to Jay Osborne, Tyler McCubrey, and then fifth, uh, rounding out that is Carson Colfield and Rio Esquivel as uh, they take home some prizes and, and a great paycheck there. Then it was on to the number 12.5 Extreme Gold. That roping was a great rope. I was bigger than I thought it would be. It, it was bigger there was than I thought. Quite was, a few teams. There, was, there was quite a few teams right there. And, uh, you know, the, the cattle were phenomenal in that rope. And, um, so easy. It just, it was just a good feel for everything. The catch percentage was incredibly high. Those steers were outstanding. Uh, uh, they were. They were really, really good. You know, it, just, it gave everybody a chance to uh, go ahead and just do their job and see where it shakes out. Yeah. And so anyway, well, let's, let's start right here at the fifth high team back. Hayden Moore. Uh, he's out of Clovis, New Mexico. Made the trip over here. Uh, he's teamed up with Will Harris, who's out of Divine, Texas. So we got we got way, way out there in the west and way, way down there in the south. They meet up in an ice storm up here in Guthrie. And uh, here we go. They come there for 32.96. And Will heals this year right here. 908. They're 4204. And they take the lead. And, and then it was a tight finish right here as we look at the top three teams. You know, the top three, uh, Curtis Buckler, Sean Trimble, they came into the short round 28 and 62. Um, 
just they went a little bit down on Reno ways and then kind of tracked him around, but they made sure they got him caught. And uh, they're 12 and 27 in the short round to make them 40 and 89. You know, it, it's it's unique right here because as you can, like you say, uh, Sean kicks over that steer. It's not his shot, but man, the patience right there as he kicks to him and then gets him heeled down. And they are right there, 40 and 89, take over the lead. But we got two to sweat, and here comes Glover and Nick Coates. Oh, yeah. Newly married, these guys. And they're 27 55, and they are second high team back. Their second high team back, there is no, I wouldn't know for from experience, but from what I've been told, there is no greater pressure than roping for your significant other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can, be, it can be pretty tough right there. And uh, Glover, uh, she it takes a conservative start, uh, kicks to the steer, keeps going, keeps going, then ropes the steer, and here comes Nick on that shot I've been telling you about. Crashes in and then just release the beast. Anchor drop. They're 10 17, 37 72. Puts them in set and first right there with one team to sweat. One team to go. They're guaranteed a great paycheck. High call team Aaron Brisbane, Joe Kane, uh, Australia by way of Missouri. Yeah. To the front side, Joe Kane from Iowa. They're 27 and 25 coming into the short round. They've got to be a 10 3, I believe, yeah. to somewhere in there to kind of take the lead. And they roped him right in that spot. And yeah. it was coming down to the wire what their time was going to be. They're 10 and 20, 37 and 45, and they end up taking the win. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it's kind of funny because Reed kind of pauses right there and he, he hesitates. And so you see Joe, he's like waiting, waiting, waiting. And then Reed's like 10, 20. And Joe's like 10, 20, 37, 45. And then he gets like, yeah, <laughs> we got it. So. You know, they, they take the win right there. Aaron Brisbane, Joe Kane, 3500 bucks is going to be theirs. And the buckles that we gave away in that gold, beautiful, beautiful Trace Reels gold buckles. I, I, it's just really, really, really pretty buckles. So congratulations to them. Glover and Nick take second, 2000 bucks for them. And the Curtis Buckler, Sean Trimble for uh, for 1500 So uh, good finish right there with the number 12.5 Extreme Gold. And then, man. Here we go. The number 10.5 over 40. Everybody in this roping, 40 and over. And uh, us kids, we like to call it the smooth mouth rope. A smooth mouth roping, yeah, something like that. Uh, it was it was a good roping right here. Um, There's about, I don't know, 60 teams or so in that, in that roping. And uh, you know, the short round starts off right there in that, and it, it's kind of just, you know, hit or miss. There's a couple of good runs, some sevens. A couple of legs right there and then brings us down to the seventh high team back and seventh high team back is christopher smith and terry jeans now terry is from broken bow oklahoma and this guy southeast oklahoma he hasn't roped in about three or four years um he says man i'm coming up there to the, to the world cup um i want to participate where i can but i haven't roped in a long time and so you know we have some conversation through the rope and he's like Oh, you know what? I quit team roping. I started hog hunting. That stuff's addicting. And then he goes, we we're having this conversation. And he's like, you know what? But there's nothing better than good team roping. Nothing better than good team roping. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so what happens to him? Well, they're 3364, and uh, they come right here. They make a run of 802, 4166. They jump way out in front. Absolutely. Made a great run right there. That takes us to the sixth high call. Carm Schneider, Robert Rita, they're only three seconds out of the high call position. Yeah. There's, it's tight from first to sixth. And uh, they're 33 and 45 coming into the short round. Make a good solid run, 888 to put them 42 and 33. Uh, yeah, uh, which is cool. You know, you've got Wisconsin Hawaii connection right here. They melt it all together at 888. They're 4176. That puts them right there. They're, they're in a good spot. Then here comes GR Carter. GR Carter is teamed up with Trenton Tucker, Oklahoma team right here at 3307. I, you know, I, I really like um, the way GR does stuff because, like, nothing. I mean, he's he's obviously a jockey by trade, so so nothing is ever like slow. No, no, it's like <laughs> it's not slow, but he's got a way of doing it, and winners always have a way of doing things. They that, they do that helps them be successful in the end. And, and GR gets out on the steer, um, gets him caught, 
and almost runs away with him a little bit. Trenton comes around there and heals him. Boom, 869. They're 4176. They're not first, but it does slide them into the second place position. And they're going to hold on to that second for a while. Maybe for the whole but I don't know. Let's see. Could be. That takes us to the second high call. Wes Collins, Travis Klingerman. They're 30 and 58 coming to the short round. Travis had roped a leg on one, had a little problem. Yeah. up. Here was a chance for redemption. Yep. Uh, 30 and 58. They are 11 and 67 on their short round steer. Puts them 42 and 25 with one to go. Yeah, and so the 42 25 puts them right there at third. So they got the one to sweat. Now, Bob Freeman and Joe Mateel, uh, these guys' friends, Oklahoma, Kansas, they're 30 42. Uh, they've set themselves up in a great position right here, uh, Bob and Joe. And with that 30 and 42, they have just a little bit of time, but not a lot of time. Bob comes out, ropes him. Joe kicks around, kicks around, a little too far, but he ropes a leg. Boom, 1371. They're 44 13. It lands with a check in fifth place. So they, they don't, it's not all for nothing. But what's amazing to me is we have to go, Brian, all the way back up to the seventh high team back. That right there is just proof that you've got to rope your roping and, and stay in your own game and, and let it all just fall how the chips fall. You bet. So Christopher Smith and Terry Jeans, the guy who's the converted hog hunter back to a team roper, they win the roping. And these guys, as we get them down there, they're so excited. I mean, well, Chris is kind of quiet. Terry, you know what? He's kind of coming out of his shell right there, and it's pretty cool. They win 5,000 uh, beautiful buckles for them right there. So congratulations to Christopher Smith and Terry Jeans. Second, then, is GR Carter and Trent Tucker. They take home 3,000. Third, Wes Collins and Travis Klingeman. Fourth, Carm Schneider, Robert Rita. And fifth, Bob Freeman and Joe Mateel. And uh, you know what? That wound up day number four right there. But it's it's just been exciting here at the Lazy E to see all the ropers and all the the mesh of different personalities and from far off places. And then you know the weather kind of confines everybody getting along. It's just a cool feel. It's been a lot of fun, like you said. Everybody coming in from all different corners of the world. It feels like and. Uh, and it just feels good to have everybody here yeah, yeah, and more people coming. Absolutely. So, uh, you know what? We're, we're just day number four. We got lots of team roping left, um, of course, uh, coming up later in the week and be giving away. Uh, we've been giving away saddles, but we're going to give away a bunch of saddles and one rope in the uh, 7.5. And then uh, we'll finish up the week with the truck rope and we're going to be giving away a brand new Ford Dewey. Um, Cruise that's, cab, four by four. Yeah, it's going to be so cool to see who can walk out of here and win that dude. And uh, so anyway, it's it's been a great roping to this point. Um, World Cup Finals, the first one. I like it. I do too. It's a good time. You bet. Can't wait for next year. Yeah. We're only four days in. Only four days in, and we got lots of stuff left to go. So anyway. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in right here on The Draw. And uh, stick with us because we've got lots and lots of team roping left here in Guthrie, Oklahoma at the Lazy E Arena. My name is Ben Clements, Brian McNamee on The Draw.